Hi everybody, this is Alex Fedikov. Welcome to Central Florida in February. Yes, as you can see, we got some frost here like a couple of weeks ago and all our tropical stuff is damaged. But we managed to save some flowers and grass still green, so everything is good. And in this video, I'll share with you results of my test of Sony A7R 3 camera with a Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter SP lens and Metabones adapter. I've used the Sigma MC11 adapter too, but I found that Metabones, in my opinion, working better. So let's go to video. I got all these birds in my yard, great subjects to do videos and photo tests, so I did. All videos and pictures are straight from camera, I did not edit them, videos in 4K 30p and stills are extra fine JPEG format. I did these tests with Metabon adapter in the advanced mode. Videos and photos being taken at different distances, focal lengths and f-stops. ISO was set to auto. It was cloudy day with good ambient light. I was very impressed with the results when I saw it on my 4K monitor. The color rendering, the details and overall quality of footages and pictures were just great. In my opinion, the only thing that holds back this setup from being unbeatable is the limited ability to use great other focus system of A7R3 camera, but this has to be expected with f-stops above f8 on any system. So I think this lens is a great lens, especially for the price. I have mentioned that I tested this lens with Metabones and Sigma MC11 adapters. If you want to know why I think Metabones is better than Sigma, stay tuned for my upcoming videos of those tests. Also, there will be more tests with all the lenses, EF mount lenses, I bought with this camera. If you have not seen my video about that package, the link is below in descriptions. The sun came out when I took this video, and yes, highlights are overexposed, but take a look at amazing details of hairs on the stick. Also I need to mention that all these videos and photos being taken through 10 mm thick window glass, and it is possible that photos and videos could be a bit sharper if taken with no glass between. 
the flowers, the trees, the birds, and everything else in the videos and photos have very very close look as I've seen them with my eyes when I took them. I like the color rendering and dynamics are seems very good. I can imagine that improvement could be made by color grading and other tweaks in Lightroom and Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, but I like these results a lot, even as they are straight from camera. Okay, this is Tamron lens, 100 to 400 millimeter, and Metabones adapter with a red LED on, meaning it's in it is in advanced mode, and we are in the movie mode, and I'll tap on the face and it gets in focus. Okay, what we have here now is a 7R3 camera, Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens and Sigma MC11 adapter. The lens is EF mount lens. So let's see what we have. This, the camera is manual mode. And let's see what we have available as focus mode. It was pretty heavy fog this morning and I went outside to try this setup in a foggy condition. The ISO was in auto and focus in manual. I consider myself an amateur in bird photography and I'm sure that quality of these pictures would be better if taken by someone with good skills. But I think these pictures are fun to look at, so I decided to share them with you. Please let me know if this video was at any help for you. Was the information good? Was the information you've been looking for? Please write the comment and let me know that what would you like to see in this type of videos. I will have more upcoming videos of this type of tests with different lenses, EF mount lenses, as I uh, bought the package of A7R3 with EF mount lenses and MC11, Sigma MC11 and Metabones adapters. So I'll do more videos in the near future. Please give me a thumb up, write your comments, subscribe to my channel for more common videos. And by the way, this is actually the window I've been taking videos and photos through with 10 mm thick glass. So I'll see you in next videos. Bye bye now.